for Boyz Watkins. Um, he came out and he said some things about um, Kwame Brown's following, basically. Uh, he said something along the lines of, you know, all the guys. One thing about black people, he said that black people need an entertainer. So he said that's why Kwame Brown have a lot of a lot of following because, you know, black people need an entertainer. Um, he also said he also said something along the lines of, you know, what I'm saying um, pretty much Kwame Brown's crowd is like the, the dumb black people. You know, what I'm saying uh, something along those lines. And it's just like sometimes, man, when you get to seeing it, I mean, and really listening to the brother and dissecting what he's saying, you know, you have to question, uh, is he really for, or how much is he really for the black race? You know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, in one breath, you can't be saying, you know what I'm saying, it, it basically if they follow you or follow guys like Claude Anderson and so on and so forth that, you know, they are, um, they have an elite mind or they have a, they have a powerful mind, so on and so forth. But if they listen to guys with a, with a separate opinion but on the same mission, uh, they the dumb black people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, just the whole they the dumb black people uh, or the dumb black crowd or so on and so forth, that sound like something the other side would say about us. Uh, even if you don't agree with a brother or even if you don't, don't agree with the people that agree with him, it's a lot more easy to say we can agree to disagree and leave it at that. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot more easier to say uh, we agree to disagree you know what i'm saying i don't have to always agree with you sir and you don't have to always agree with me this is a lesson for anybody you don't always have to agree with your brother or your sister but that don't mean that the other person is stupid or they the dumb crowd or or they looking for an entertainer you see what i'm saying um it can just simply mean that you know what i'm saying uh my opinion may be this way your opinion may be that way that don't mean that neither one of us is dumb in the process you know it looks like you and the brother have a different uh opinion about some things or the way y'all go at things um you come at him he come back with you he fight fire with fire you know what i'm saying as he should you know what i'm saying I don't, when you didn't spend 20 years of people disrespecting your name and so on and so forth and you and you took the humble role when you become a part of a point in your life where okay now my kids are old enough to see what's going on um i have to stand on principles in my household and tell my kids i'm a man you know what i'm saying i have to show them how to be a man so it stop being about business and stop being about being humble and start being about, you know what, son, you know, you, you be a man of principle, you be a man of honor and you stand for something. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show you an example of it. And you start, you start becoming, you know, not that he didn't been standing on nothing. It's just, he took the humble road. It seemed like a lot of times before, but now as your children become older, they start looking at their father as a pushover, so on and so forth, because 20 years, he didn't say nothing. You know, you have to give your kids something to believe in, something to believe in. You know what I'm saying? You have to show them that, you know what I'm saying? In this world, you know, you know, you can only be but so humble before you have to speak for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's what we've seen a lot of times with this situation. You know what I'm saying? But Dr. Boyce Watkins said that he was only trying to get 10% anyway. You know, something about that 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 10% word, it, you know what I'm saying? You know, in the Bible, they want 10%. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and just different things like that. So it'd be something about a guy that is saying he only want 10% uh, that makes me wonder you know what i'm saying how could you be about all the blacks and you only want 10 percent of the blacks that's leaving 90 percent of them with no direction according to your guidelines or your structure on what you're saying right but i just want to since we're talking 10 percent, i just want to refer back to the bible you know the lord For whatsoever said, you do to the least of your brothers and sisters you do unto me that's what the lord say um i just wanted to kind of throw that out there you know what i'm saying because when you talk about you only do you only want to do for 10 percent. what about the least of your brothers and sisters you see what I'm saying? What about the ones that, you know what I'm saying, the other 90%, you know? The other 90% that's um, not as educated as you are. You know, you can't say that you, let's get for real now, you can't, and hit the like button if you haven't already. You can't tell me that you are about the people, but say you only want 10% of the people. Um, You can't say that you're all about the brother and and, and, um, and write off or um, try to disrespect the the thought process of a, of a person like Kwame Brown or a person like whoever that's out here that is that, that's speaking for the other side, but everybody's working one direction. You know, you got people that will listen to it, that it'll resonate because we all on the same mission, right? You got people that the way you talk, it'll resonate to them. You got people that some people talk a little country with the slang. That, that Them country slang folks can resonate with that. You got some people that like to hear it like in a custom way, the way Kwame Brown like to see it. Uh, 
But at the end of the day, no matter if it's the uh, the pol politically correct wor uh, world, or if it's the slang way, or if it's the profanity way, if you all putting the same message out that we need to uh, unite and move as one, and not put one another down, so on and so forth, what difference does it make how it came out, right? I remember an old saying, say, um, who cares who's the messenger? Did you get the message? Who cares how the message was um, relayed to you? Did you get the message? Right? So when we talking about um, uplifting each other, so on and so forth, you can't one breath say um, you don't give a SHIT about mama's cooking. Or you don't give a or you tried your best to talk to a guy, but that same guy that you tried your best to talk to, all the people that follow him, oh, that's what's wrong with the black race. Guys that follow people like, cause they got, he got, you got 300,000 people that are follow a guy like him. So which one is it? Did you try your best to talk to him or is you trying your best to destroy everybody to look at him as somebody? It's hard to, and this is why this is why I get confused. At it's hard for me to listen to a guy like Tommy that say um, nobody cares about this man. Nobody, nobody, everybody, even Kobe Bryant, everybody that want, everybody that was around this man, you know, they they didn't want to be involved with him no more, so on and so forth. Uh, he he he's nothing. He ain't nothing you want to listen to, and uh, but but you want to have a sit down and have an interview with him on your platform. You actually is mad at the man. Because the interview didn't happen. That started the feud. Uh, he didn't respond to your email or your call or your text message on and so forth about you having a dialogue with him. You know, you piggybacking the momentum on which he had. It's hard for me to understand how if a guy, nobody like him and you don't like and nobody, everybody think so low of the man. But you want to have a conversation with him before you ultimately disrespect him. Dr. Boyce Watkins, it's hard for me to understand how you tried your best. You tried your best to be cool with this man. But everybody that followed the same man that you tried your best to be cool with is what's wrong with America. I mean, what's wrong with the black race. How does that make sense? Somebody comment. Tell me how does that make sense? I just want to say this in closing. Um, Never forget, each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we can grow together. The reason I say that is because for everybody to have knowledge, don't spill to only 10%. Each one teach one. So we can continue to grow. You know, so we continue to grow. As long as we, I'll say each one teach one, mean expand, right? As long as we have each other, we can continue to grow together. That's why I say that so much. Listen to it. Don't let it go over your head. We're not trying to speak to 10%. We trying to, if you know, if you have some knowledge, tell somebody about it. Each one teach one, right? What good does it do if I have all this knowledge and I'm a doctor and I die with it? Uh, what good did it do for everybody else? You die with that knowledge. So that means everybody else, the knowledge you claim you have, you died with it. Or you only told it 10%. What good did all that schooling or all that knowledge or all that do for the overall picture of everybody continuing to grow together or, or building as one? If you say you for every, if you for the black race, right? Um, don't you believe that your words or, or all your knowledge that you have um, acquired over your years of living? Don't you think that the other 90% deserve it? So you can't just always speak to the elites um, or however you correlate it. You have to speak to the least of those. Right? For whatsoever you do unto the least of your brothers and sisters, you do unto me. 90% in your estimation is the least of those, the least of your brothers and sisters. Understand, he say, you doing it unto him. For what you think about him, for how you how you speak on him, how you disrespect him, how they is what's wrong with the black culture. I listen to the things that people say in detail. Um, Mr. Dr. Boyce Watkins, uh, you may really be for the people, 
But, you know, I think that you should pay attention to the least of those as well. And don't look at it like um, if they're not part of your 10%, they're part of the dumb part of the black America or, or black culture. <laughs> if they don't agree with you, they're part of the dumb part of the black culture. You only want 10%. The other 90% don't matter. How crazy do that sound? So, I say this in closing. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the post notification. But I just want to say this in closing, man. Um, Yeah, man, Dr. Boyce Watkins say he didn't care. He don't give a SHIT about mama's cooking. That's his opinion. That's his prerogative. You know what I'm saying? Uh, But at the end of the day, at least care about your people enough to where you don't spew so much um, disregard to 90% of them. <laughs> How crazy do that sound? Right now, the same people you talk about, them white people, uh, it's some of them out there that care about a lot more than 10% of blacks. You see what I'm saying? Let's be honest. It's some in this world that care about a lot more than 10%. I mean, damn. Even the, even the, even the guy that don't care about all of us, he can find 10% of them. There. Well, that motherfucker ain't so bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you get what I'm saying? Even the ones that hate us, he can find 10% of us that he like. Think about that, man. Don't let it go over your head. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to grow together. I ain't gonna hold too much of your time.